Hey yo, what's up? If you love comics, make some noise! Say Stan Lee! Say Stan Lee! It's the place to be! Say Stan Lee! Glad to be here, y'all. And um, I'm just gonna bring up my editor-in-chief, Edgardo. Rodriguez Miranda. He's the guy that helped me do this venture, and we're glad to be here. My check one, two, and the place to be. What's up, Kamikaze? Make some noise! Now, as some of you know, uh, there's this guy, Kevin Smith. You may have heard of him. Um, way back when, in the late 80s, early 90s, I worked at Quick Stop convenience store with him. And I was very into heavy metal. And he was very into hip hop. And he told me, you got to listen to Run DMC. And uh, by then, the, the, the Aerosmith thing had come out. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll give it a chance. And once I heard it, I was what many people would call a metal poser. <laughs> I could not believe how much I loved it and still loved it. And, and still love it. I mean, the, the, the dude is amazing. I, I, I met him for the first time during the, the, during the show this year, and uh, I'm, I couldn't be more honored to, to moderate this panel. So we're going to ask him questions, and this dude can talk. <laughs> this, this dude can talk. So, so you may get one question and one answer. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the edited versions to the answers. Right. <laughs> So we're, we're doing something called Weave. This is a, a new app, I guess, right? Yes. This is a new app, and people have sent in yes. questions from Weave. And uh, the, uh, Tiffany asks, you've mastered the music world, which I agree with. So what's up with comics? What is your inspiration? Well, um, before music, before hip hop came over the bridge and changed my life, uh, before AM radio, listening to the Doobie Brothers and Bob Dylan and Jim Croce and Harry Chapman and the Beatles and the Stones, my total existence was comic books. And I was a little shy kid that stayed in the house, straight A student, five or six stars on a forehead, always on a honor roll. I went to Catholic school my whole life. So when, when I wasn't in school, I had to keep myself busy. And my whole existence was comic books. And when I got into music, I never, I mean, you might not believe this, I never wanted to get up on stage in front of people. But he was there before he came up on stage. Yeah, just right. now. But the thing that gives me confidence to come up here is all the inspiration, motivation, uh, courage, confidence, and education that I got from those comic books, Marvel comic books in DC as a little kid. We're in comic book shops this Wednesday, and we're here today at Kamikaze at booth 1731, you know? And, uh, and how we got to this point is, like I said, um, I was a little kid, DC was cool. DC had Gotham and Metropolis. But the good thing about Marvel Comics was that I was a little kid who lived in New York City. My parents weren't disciplinarians, but they were very strict. I was one of those kids that had to be in a house when the sun was going down. So I used to have to find things to do. So Marvel was cool because I'm this little kid who lived in New York that couldn't go nowhere. So Marvel Comics showed me all these places in New York City that I heard about. And then for 30 years, you know, after reading comic books and trying to draw all my favorite superheroes, I picked up the microphone and the comic books wasn't put in a closet away. It was consistently there when I would write my rhymes, when I would get up on stage, when I came up with my name, when I came up with my look and everything. But for 30 years, I traveled the globe and people would come up to me and say, DMC, I got this hip hop comic book. I would go to Asia, I would go to Europe, here in the States for 30 years. Then about a year ago, it happened again. And you know, with the success of all the movies and stuff, you got a lot of people that's getting into superheroes that never touched a comic book. That's like saying you're a DJ and never touched a turntable. But to make a long story short, I sat back and I said, why don't these hip hop comic books ever be successful? And then it hit me. You don't make a hip hop comic book. 
you make a comic book. This comic book isn't a hip hop comic book. It's more of a tribute and a celebration of everything that makes comic book culture enjoyable. So when my, my friend Ed right here and my other friend Riggs Morales said, D, if anybody could do it the right way, you should do it. First and foremost, even though DMC is a superhero, this isn't a DMC hip hop comic book, it's a comic book. If you make a comic book, whatever it is that you want to put in there, always do it with integrity and have respect to the audience because it's about them first.